Hello and welcome back to Micro Teaching with Mr. Newmark. And today's video is somewhat unusual because we're focused more on skills than we are on content. And the skill we're looking at is evaluating. This is because it's the most difficult. When it comes to a GCSE exam, most students who prepare well are fairly comfortable with the earlier questions which ask them to describe and explain. It's when it comes to evaluate, people tend to get stuck. Now the usual way in which an evaluate question will be asked will be something like this. I'll give you a statement. In this case, Vesalius was more significant than Parry for the history of medicine. Then I'll ask you how much you agree, to what extent you agree. Now, good students will know that in order to answer this question competently, they should provide evidence for both interpretations. So they will say, on the one hand, I agree with the statement because, and they'll provide evidence. And they will also say, on the other hand, I disagree with the statement and provide evidence for that too. It's when they come to the conclusion that they get stuck. Because the conclusion asks you to make a judgment for a good, insightful reason. Do you overall disagree or agree with that statement? Now, most students at this point will either just recycle a point they've early made or just said that both were equally important. Now, this isn't helpful and won't get you the marks that you need. Now, the reason it's tricky is because it's difficult to work out without criteria why something is more important than something else. So to provide us with that criteria, I'm using Partington's criteria of historical significance. At this point, I should pause and say that the idea for this brilliant graphical representation is not mine. It comes from a talented historian you can find at Twitter at Ahead of History. I encourage everyone to follow him as well as my own Twitter account. Now, what Partington asks us to do is to ask specific questions about an individual, an achievement, or a change, and assess how important it was based on those questions. What I'm going to do is run through the contributions of Paré and Vesalius, who I've given different colours, and explain my own thought process so that you can see how this works, and then hopefully you'll be able to do it for other individuals and changes that you've studied too. Let's start with Paré. Now, I've given Paré a three out of five for how important at the time he was. This was because he really did help people who suffered with lost limbs or gunshot wounds in wars, but really his influence beyond that violent of injury was very limited. How deep did it affect lives? For the same reasons, I've gone for three. Very deep effect in the lives of those people who were injured and would otherwise have been treated with boiling oil or cauterization, but not for other diseases. And let's not forget, at this time, most people were dying of other diseases, not war. How many people did it affect have gone down right down to a two? This is because it was mainly military people, soldiers it benefited, and there was limited benefit from his new ideas to other aspects or other areas of society. For how long did it affect people for? I've gone back up to a three. This is because surgeons did use his ideas for a long time, but we don't still use them now. And that's why I've gone right down for a two for how important is it now? Because we don't use a mixture of oil of roses and turpentine to cure gunshot wounds today. So, that is Paré. And then what I did was join it all up to give us an overall shape. Let's look at Vesalius now. Now for Vesalius, for how important the time, I've only gone for a two. This was because, although his books were revolutionary and did challenge the church, most people did not know about them because they couldn't read. And also, none of his ideas led to concrete cures. So although they were interesting, they didn't actually help people in the immediate or short term. Now how deep did it affect lives? I've gone for a one. Now this is because most people at this time did not live in cities, did not go to school, did not go to university and could not read or write. So most people were completely unaware that Vesalius had successfully proved Galen wrong. For how many people affected? For the same reasons I've gone for one. But I've gone up to a four for how long did it affect people for. Now this was because later thinkers picked up Vesalius' ideas and used them because they inspired them to go on thinking for themselves and making discoveries. Examples you could use for that with Parry himself or Harvey. And lastly, for how important is it now, again, I've gone for a four. And this is because many of the discoveries that we have since made that have helped people might never have happened if it hadn't have been for Vesalius proving Galen and therefore the, the church wrong and getting people thinking and experimenting and trying to move on from the old barbaric methods that we see in the medieval period. Now, the shapes that we produce from this thought process, if you play either Football Manager or FIFA, you'll be very familiar with. And it allows you to look now and see who has the bigger shape. And maybe that person will be the most important. But even better, it also allows you to make insightful points in your conclusion. For example, my conclusion for this, my evaluation, would be, overall, I would say that at the time, Paré was more important because his ideas led to actual new methods which helped people. Vesalius didn't. I would also say that if we take a longer term view, Vesalius becomes more important. Because if it hadn't been for him, 
other people would never have dared question the church, and new ideas that eventually did help people get better would not have happened. I encourage you to think of other individuals in medicine and do the same for them. Compare them against each other. You might also want to do the same for events in the Germany Corps. Germany course, which events were more important than others for specific outcomes. Thank you very much for listening, and again, thanks to Ahead of History. More videos to follow.